things are coming together at last. That's okay. <laughs> I think it actually came out pretty nice. Yeah, I'm not displeased. Before the experiment can begin, we have to balance the butt. Jamie's using a four to one ratio, 300 pounds of butt balanced against 75 on the pivot arm. Okay guys, we got some serious weight going on here, so I'd never stand under anything at all. Uh, keep your eye on what's going on. We don't know how much weight it's going to take before it rips. So we're going to turn on the pump. We're going to lower the butt into place. We'll see if we get any pressure on this. Uh -huh. We'll let it take weight and uh, then we'll slowly start to raise and see how much, uh, how much poundage it takes to remove Bertha from the toilet. Sounds like a plan. Contact. If the butt creates a seal, we should see a jump in vacuum pressure. Okay, should I bring it up? We're still measuring around three PSI. The toilet seat is preventing us from making a seal. I think it's much more plausible that she sat down without putting the, that seat down. Okay, that's easy to test. That's better. That's a seal, but it's not taking that much pressure. We'll uh, pull the plug and see if we can rethink this. Well, we're getting a significant amount of suction out of the toilet, and the needle was bouncing more without the toilet seat on. And checking all the way around, we had a reasonable seal, but that air gap between the shroud and the bowl just prevented any real suction from occurring. This myth's starting to look decidedly shaky. These two lugs under the shroud have been preventing an airlock from forming. I believe myself that the toilets are, are designed to, you know, to not seal. Right. Adam can sniff a conspiracy. Do you think they put that in before, after the myth, like as a response? No. no. Personally, I think we might want to try it without the shroud, just to see if there's actually enough suction, if there was a seal. Okay, contact. <clears throat> Down we come. However unlikely, we want to cover the possibility that the victim's butt was so large, it reached down and made contact with the bowl. <laughs> That's as good a seal as we get. Okay, Terry, lower the weight. Time to measure the suction. All right, here we go. Go! Keep going, all the way up. There was a, this whole butt cheek right here, this whole butt cheek was distended about another three inches down. Uh, the whole butt was deformed. She's got a hell of a hickey. We got a really good seal on the butt crack in that last one. <laughs> there was a little bit of, uh, that it didn't want to give at first when you lifted, but uh, it didn't take very much. It's, I mean, yeah, I saw what the, uh, I, I was watching what the measurement on this was. The toilet was generating 450 pounds of suction, but the scale shows it would take a fraction of that to break the seal. 75 pounds. Yeah. So, uh, well, that tells And that's us. lifting straight up. I mean, that's just, I'd say a woman this large, I mean, she'd be able to, you know, pull yeah. a cheek or move herself around a little bit. Yeah. and release the gap. I mean, we're talking, if someone really couldn't do that, we're talking someone maybe even twice this large. And then I'm not even sure they could fit in an airplane toilet. Yeah, I would agree. What's more, a properly functioning toilet creates suction for just two seconds. If something were to go inside the bowl and get stuck inside of there, uh, the pressure is probably about twice as much as a normal shop vac that you would have at your home. As you can see, there's no damage to a person's hand if they do put it in. And really, all you.
they do is get wet. Myth busted, and we're prepared to stake uh, Adam's butt on it. Contact. So, uh, are you ready to try it, you know, the real deal? Sure. All right. <laughs> now, what if, like, you're, if you're hurt? Like, what if, you, you know, this starts to feel uncomfortable? You're gonna I'll, get... I'll take it gradually. <laughs> if I feel things moving around that shouldn't be moving, <laughs> All right. I, I'll disconnect. Because I can't hear you terribly yeah. well in there when I turn You'll the switch. You'll hear the hot bitch squealing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, contact. All right. Expose butt cheek. There we go. <laughs> All right! Holy shit! <laughs> All right, that's significant. I... <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh wow, that was really significant. <laughs> that was that was. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> that was impressively significant amount of <laughs> of, of suction. <laughs> the whole the whole thing was vibrating with the pressure. We got up to five psi. Yeah, it was that was significant. Um, I mean, I had my <laughs> I'm trying to talk scientifically. I was able to use my arms, but it, like if I didn't have arms. I would not probably have been able to free myself. I'm not sure what we proved here, but at least it's good television. Another one bites the dust. Good work. <laughs>